hi and welcome to the Demalek Cookery Channel. So today we're making bread in our wood-fired pizza oven. So I've been asked by a few people if I can show how to do the real basics of baking bread in a pizza oven. So that's what we're going to do today. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video, so let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So it's just a really simple bread recipe today. We've got 500 grams of strong bread flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, 7 gram sachet of fast action dried yeast, 300 millilitres of lukewarm water, and about 3 tablespoons of olive oil. So the first thing we do is add all of the dry ingredients together and just give that a really good mix in. Next thing we want to do is add our three tablespoons of olive oil. Just make sure we get all of that olive oil off the spoon. I'm just going to mix this in by hand now until we get almost like a fine breadcrumb. So once we've got the flour to this kind of consistency, next thing is just to add our lukewarm water a little bit at a time. And we just want to form a really nice dough. Okay, so once we've got the dough to that stage, next thing to do, a little bit of flour onto a work surface. And we just want to knead this dough for about 10 minutes, a good 10, 10 minutes actually. And so all I'm doing is just stretching out the dough and rotating it so we do a different piece of dough each time we um, stretch this out. So plenty of really decent videos on YouTube on how to knead dough so if you don't know how to do it just have a look at those videos. Okay so after 10 minutes dough should be nice and pliable. Next thing to do take the bowl that we mixed the flour and other ingredients in to create the dough. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom. And just work that around the sides. So this will prevent, prevent the dough from sticking. I'm going to shape the dough. Next thing I'm going to do is cover this with food wrap or cling film place it into a warm part of the house until the dough doubles in size. It should take around 40 to 50 minutes to do that. Okay, so our bread dough is now doubled in size. So the next stage is to do a thing called knocking back, which is basically just taking some of the larger air holes out of the dough. Just place some flour onto our work surface. And that's literally enough for this style of bread. The next stage now is just to create some surface tension. So I'm just shaping the dough. And I'm just going to pull it under. So just force it under, almost the same as making 
bread roll just to create a little bit of surface tension on the top of the loaf that will give us a, a much better finish so for the pizza oven we take our pizza peel just place a little bit of flour onto the peel on our dough right in the middle so this is my advice if you've never baked bread in a pizza oven before is to keep the bread on the pizza peel bread will burn very easily in a pizza oven especially one that's up to a higher temperature and if you place this onto the pizza oven floor and it starts to burn straight away you're going to panic and i can guarantee you'll go to push the pizza peel under the um, loaf and you'll knock the loaf actually further into the oven and it'll burn even more so again this video is really for people who have never baked bread before in a pizza oven it's only my advice you don't have to take it but keep the actual um, loaf on the pizza peel if it's your first time so our pizza oven is now up to temperature if you want to know how to heat up one of these um, home-built pizza ovens correctly just click in the top right hand corner of the screen now and that link will take you to the video that shows you how to do that so another piece of advice again for first timers is I would keep the loaf as close to the entrance of the pizza oven as possible the further in the dome you go obviously the more intense the heat and the quicker the outside of the loaf will um, will cook or bake so one of the rookie mistakes with baking bread in a pizza oven is that you'll get the outside done perfectly you go to cut into the bread and it'll be just pure dough in the center so again we need a slower cooking process than you would for something like a pizza so i'm literally just going to leave that bread there at the start of the entrance tunnel and then every few minutes i'm just going to rotate it 390 degrees just to make sure it cooks evenly on all sides that should be our bread perfectly done so next thing to do onto a wire rack and we're going to leave this just to cool down before we slice it it's important we place it onto a wire rack not onto a flat surface because anything like bread cakes biscuits will sweat underneath if you place them onto a um, flat surface as I said, leave this to cool down and then we'll slice it and I'll show you the inside. Okay, so our bread has cooled down sufficiently now. So let's have a look what it looks like on the inside. And just look at that absolutely superb so the bread is just so soft on the inside just look at that and the taste mm. wow some of the best bread you'll ever taste don't know homemade pizza oven absolutely fantastic So there you go, the basics on how to get some really delicious bread. The taste from the pizza oven is completely different to 
uh, bread that's baked in a conventional oven. There are a few simple steps to take which I've shown you in the video. The most important thing really is to get the hydration right, so the amount of water within the dough, especially if you're just starting off, and where, where to actually bake the bread within the pizza oven, because as I said before, it will burn very quickly. So just be patient. You definitely want to get the outside perfect, but you want to get the inside cooked as well. Otherwise you'll end up with just a very uh, solid dough center. And that's of course not what you need. Please subscribe to the channel. And as usual, if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.